So if you watched me in the last video, you would have seen me build a chip collector, which was phase one of my dust collection system build. In my old shop, I had to wheel around my dust collector to each machine, much like I'm doing here, which is a huge pain. Now I have a nice new shop, which I plan to be in for a while, so it's time to establish a dust collection system. In phase two, I'll go over the ducting for the dust collection system. In this build, I'll go over the reasoning for where the tools would be placed in relation to the dust collector, how to assemble the ducting, hanging the ducting, and then the lessons learned along the way. Well, let's get building. I use cheap PVC drain pipe, which is thinner than traditional 4 inch PVC, because I figured the vacuum power really wouldn't come close to crushing this pipe, and it was about 10 bucks a section. I used my miter saw to cut all the sections, which made my mistakes cuts really not so bad. In order to connect the piping, I used some tinfoil duct tape as recommended by another fellow woodworker, for a couple reasons. First, it's easy to remove the piping when you want to change your system around, and secondly, it's super sticky and provides an awesome seal. To get the seal just right, all I did was wrap the tape around the joint and then push down on the tape to make sure that the joint was as airtight as possible. After cutting and joining and cutting and joining, I finally got the first section out. Now I'll go over how I hung this up later, as this section was really just the starting point. Now it's time to talk about two locations. The consensus here is that you place your dust collector as close as you can to your biggest chip producing machines. The reasoning is because you'll get the most suction closest to the dust collector. So having your joiner and your planer closest to the dust collector, where the suction is the greatest, will pull the greatest amount of chips out of the way. Here, I'm setting up what will be the duct for my 8 inch joiner. Something to note here, dry fit your pieces first and then join them with the tape. I don't know how many times that I decided that the section I cut wasn't going to fit just right and luckily I could just pull out the joint and try it again with no stoppage time. I chose to hang my ducting from the ceiling. My reasoning is because my ceilings are 12 feet high so having the ducting run 3 feet below the ceiling saved me 6 feet of unnecessary pipe. I just used a ducting hanger you can find at any big box store and just hung it using a nail from the rafter. This does seem to be a bit insecure, but when the ductwork is all in, all I would need to do is open and close blast gates, so it being super secure isn't really necessary. After completing the beginning parts of my ducting, I then moved on to hooking up the sections that would drop down to my tools. This section is for my planer. There's a few tidbits here. First, you can see how I actually hung the piping from the hanging straps. Second, you can see how I dry fit the pipes before actually sealing them up. And lastly, since this is where my planer is going to be, you can see how close to the collector I am. Now on to the table saw and floor sweep section. This required one long pipe as I plan on having an assembly table underneath it. I first measured out the hanging straps, then temporarily tacked them up. Once I got the pipe level, I then hung it permanently. One thing to note here, you want to try to keep your 90 degree angles in the ducting to a minimum. The reason is because of less static pressure. Basically, the straighter the pipe, the more suction because of less bends. So when you need to make a 90 degree angle, it's actually better to do a two 45 degree turns with a section of straight pipe in the middle. Before I could test out my ducting, I needed to replace the filter for my dust collector. I'm a high roller, and I went with the Harbor Freight dust collector. Now there are a few things from Harbor Freight that I can trust, but this dust collector is actually pretty darn good for under 200 bucks. The filter that comes with the setup is actually a five micron bag. I wanted a filter that was one micron to help save the lungs. The much anticipated time has come. Right now I just capped off all the other two locations and let the suction be taken all at the table saw. As you can see, I really only have 190 degree angle turn here, and that's right at the chip collector. This is giving me the optimum amount of suction I can get from any given tool. Now on to my floor sweep. Uh, one thing for my dust collection I wanted uh, was something to sweep my dust into so I didn't have to take a, uh, a dust pan and keep on collecting this and trying to dump it into a trash can. So 
I fabricated um, this little puppy. It's out of just uh, just ducting. Uh, it's a, a one baffle piece and then a 90 degree angle uh, connector. Um, it's really easy to make and I just put the uh, tape around it. So um, this will actually be mounted onto one of the blast gates I've made. Um, it will just slide right over the four inch coupling. And then this will go on, this part will go onto my, my actual duct. And uh, it'll enable me to just open and close that. And then when I want to sweep into it, I'll just uh, open the blast gate and then sweep into it. So really easy to make, two pieces. Just watch your fingers because I cut myself on the sheet metal. It's really sharp. Just to demonstrate the floor sweep is working, I'll grab a handful of sawdust and send it up into the ducting. Beautiful. If you don't have one of these dust collector remotes, I highly suggest getting one. This one is made by Rockler and is super convenient as I no longer have to walk over to the dust collector every time I want to make some sawdust. Just make sure you mount this in a place where you can get good reception if you have a big shop. This has improved my performance tenfold now. In combination with the chip collector, the dust collector ducting is like night and day when talking about time wasted and saved. Now all I have to do is install blast gates and flexible hosing to all my tools. Well, phase two is now complete for my dust collection system. Now into phase three, which is blast gates. 